here is just talk about uh, a viewer question. And this is something that um, that I think uh, I think it was Ames. Ames brought this up uh, a week or go, a week or so ago. Uh, the viewer question was, "How can I?" Well, it wasn't exactly this. Uh, the viewer question was more like this: was uh, I go to a college and the college was going to wanted me to remove my wireless access point from the network because they were concerned about security threats uh, or something of that sort. So I recomposed that question into how can I spoof my MAC address? Uh, spoof means, you know, trick, change, or that sort of thing. Uh, basically, I wrote some little notes here. Why would I want to do this? Uh, to get around MAC address filtering on a router or firewall or to trick a router to thinking a wireless router is actually a computer. Uh, some networks scan for wireless access points by the MAC address and then disable those ports. So do this and the scan will think your router is a PC network interface. So uh, I've got some significant notes in the, show, in, the, in the show notes that you'll be able to access, but I want to just talk about this real quick. So, um, you know, to start on a Windows-based PC, if you want to see what your current MAC address is currently, you can just type ipconfig forward slash all and hit enter at a command line and you'll see what your current IP address is. However, in most cases you're going through a router and in this case we're talking about using a Linksys router, a Netgear router or something similar to um, to clone or spoof your MAC address. So on a Linksys router all you would do is uh, you know go to the configuration page and click on MAC address clone which and then just go ahead and enter your required MAC address and then boom you're off and running. You may have to restart your router or want to restart your router. I also recommend that you do that um, you know before you plug it into uh, or before you you know plug it into a, a, another network or bring your router live and start broadcasting your SSID or anything like that. Um, another thing you'd want to you know stop broadcasting your SSID and and all that. Here's the address in most cases that you'll use to get into that uh, change your MAC address screen. So if you're on a Netgear router, same sort of thing. On Netgear routers, all you need to do is go to the start page, click on basic settings, go to the router MAC address, and um, select the uh, use computer MAC address or use a Ma use a MAC address and then enter in your required MAC address. That's all you'd have to do there. Uh, let me post this into uh, chat too. So this is on a, a Netgear, for example, uh, where you'd go. And keep in mind, if you've if you've changed your configuration on your Netgear, you may have a little bit of a different uh, address uh, that you need to go to. But it's very simple, and I've got some more details in the show notes that you can do that. So now let's talk about on a Windows PC. If you're just on your PC and now you need, now you've made your your uh, router act as the MAC address that your PC had. Here's how you can now change the MAC address of your PC. It's very simple. Uh, just go into your control panel, click on Network Connections, right click on your network connection, and go to the MAC. Uh, uh, right click on the network connection that you want to change the MAC address for, select properties, and then you'll uh, normally it'll be either your local area network or your wireless network connection. Uh, number two, just go to uh, uh, the, uh, what's it say, go to the general tab and then now click the advanced tab and look for the locally administered address property or the network address property. By default, it'll say not present or value is selected. Go ahead and click on the value radio button and then just enter in your new MAC address. Keep in mind that MAC addresses identify, generally identify the hardware manufacturer and I'm sure you can find a lot more information on you know hardware manufacturer MAC addresses and you can just uh, you know enter your own MAC address other than the one you have in your uh, in your router and you should be good to go. So uh, and then let's go ahead and just talk about real quick if you have a Mac you know and on a Macintosh if you want to do it too I've got this in the show notes so spoofing a Mac address on your Mac or Apple Mac computer is as simple as uh, going into a command prompt uh, or a, a Unix shell type uh, you know type ifconfig en1 grep ether which will get your your current ethernet mac address it'll you know here let me paste that command 
into chat. And again, I'll have all these commands in the show notes if you're interested. So uh, there's a command on your Mac to find out what your current Mac address is. And you're going to then, in that command, you're going to look for uh, something like that. You know, uh, again, yeah, you know, uh, or Linux, you can use probably the same sort of command uh, syntax in Linux. And then what you would do is to change your MAC address, you would type something, for example, like this, um, which they have it set up to do it in uh, sudo uh, using the sudo shell. Uh, again, this is for a Mac running OS 10. And uh, then basically just do the, the same ether uh, command again or the same I have config en1 grep uh, command again and um, look to make sure that it's changed and you may want to reboot your Mac. So uh, that's about uh, that's about it for spoofing your Mac address. Again, the viewer question this week, how to spoof your Mac address. I'll have full uh, details and information on this in the show notes and uh, some links to uh, possibly some other resources and notes. But uh, if you're interested in doing that, you can also probably just Google uh, spoof your Mac address and you'll find lots of information on spoofing your Mac address. So it looks like I lost uh, Echo Relay. Um, so let's go ahead and move on in this show. So um, this week's show is being brought to you by Amazon.com. If you're interested in buying any products, almost anything, go shop Amazon.com. Let me just type shop Amazon in here in chat that is. At any time you can also just stop by shop.highweb.net and click on the Amazon link and uh, go there. And you can support High Web Interactive by supporting Amazon uh, being that we get a small commission for anything you purchase off of uh, the Amazon store that we refer you to. So uh, check it out. If you haven't shopped off of Amazon recently, I recommend you do. So uh, let's go ahead and move on in the show. So uh, what I like to do here is uh, this is a new technology segment, and I like to talk about you know things like uh, auto technology, alternative fuel type technologies, uh, you know hacking, security, all that sort of stuff. So uh, you know just general.